All right, guys, so we are going to go through this uh, Cougar half ton travel trailer model that I've never seen before. Uh, and I think you guys are gonna love it. This is a 2022 model and it is the 30 BHS. It actually comes in weighing at 7,165 pounds with a length of 34 feet, five inches. So showing you some features on the outside first, you got your power tongue jack. All you have to do is just press a button and it does the work for you on off and then retract and uh, you know, bring it up. You also have a utility light. Two very large propane tanks are just behind there and then a spot for your battery. Diamond plating at the bottom of your front cap to just help protect it. You also have some accent lights, so it looks pretty awesome uh, at night or even when you're taking it down the road. This also has the industry's best three-year limited structural warranty. You are prepped for Fury on side marker cameras if you want them. And you have some pass-through storage, so just uh, have extra camping gear in here, maybe some beach towels, beach toys, uh, floaties, umbrellas, things like that. A power awning to relax underneath and it also has a white LED light strip, Bluetooth capable outside speakers. You also have two entrances into this coach. Your main one has the oversized grab handle. Plus you have the solid steps that fold into your camper nicely. And since this is a 2022 model, you have the solar panels on top of the camper, which is great. Moving along, you have an outside shower. Now a lot of people don't know what to use this for. So say you get back from the beach, you're really sandy. You don't wanna track that into your camper. You can just rinse off your legs or if it happens to be uh, muddy outside, rinse your shoes off, your kids, your dog, anything really. And you also have an outside kitchen on this coach. So a drawer that you need two hands to pull out. So I can't right now, but it's a stainless steel capital grill. You have some extra countertop space, uh, storage space. You can have your utensils and plates there. A mini fridge, Let's see which side it opens up. Um, so you can have some snacks in here, kids juice boxes, adult beverages spare tire um, and this tire is adjustable so you can be able to open up this uh, back storage but you have access to it from the other side as well you are pre-wired for a backup camera if you want one and then this is an access door that you can lock from the outside um, but this is just another entrance into that storage space that I was just telling you about. So a lot of extra room for pretty much whatever you'd like. And you also have this uh, light to be able to see what you're doing if you get to the campground while it's still dark outside. And then you have one side out here on your non-camping side. Access to your water heater and the other side of your pass-through storage. So now let's take a look at the inside. So coming all the way to the front, kind of saving the best part for last, we have our master bedroom space. And as you can see, it's just nice and bright in here. And you'll see that all throughout the camper. Huge window at the head of your bed that does have a shade so you can block out that light and sleep in if you'd like. It also is tinted. It's not completely blacked out, but it is tinted. To my left, you have an exit window. And then to my right, you have that second entrance so you can... Uh, easily come into your bedroom if your kids are sleeping uh, you need to run outside really quickly it's just a fun little access door you can also have the screen door open for a nice breeze to come in end tables are on both sides the one on the left is slightly longer but they're just longer end tables in general so you can have all of your decorations up personal belongings things like that and then you have kind of raised up shelves with even more cubby storage so you can hide your snacks, uh, put your phones in there, keep things less cluttered. Outlets and USB ports are on both sides to charge your electronics or plug in a sleep at machine. And then above each nightstand, you have a closet locker, mirror panel on the outside, and then a built-in clothes rack on the inside. A couple cabinets hang in between them. You are prepped for a second AC here in the bedroom if you want one. And then a barn style sliding door that leads into your pass through bathroom. So you have a quick access to it. And then just next to me is a spot for a TV if you want one here in the bedroom. So entering our bathroom, we have our porcelain foot flush toilet. Lots of leg space so you're not feeling super cramped and claustrophobic. Just next to that is your nice stand up shower. Skylight is there up above. Removable shower head. A couple hooks too for your towels. 
And then I just love this clear uh, sliding glass door. You have three of them. But I think there was a design on it before. So this just really opens up the space with it being clear. Another barn style sliding door for the main entrance into the bathroom. And then we have our sink. It's kind of at a cool angle. There's a nice little shape to it. All of the storage space is down below. Built-in shelf. More countertop space. A window. So you can kind of let those... Uh, odors and I guess steam and stuff out but there's also a uh, pull down blackout shade so you can get that extra privacy if you need it power is right here of course your sink medicine cabinet and another little cabinet next to your medicine cabinet and then coming out into our main living space to my left beginning our gorgeous cream colored uh, kitchen cabinets it's just nice and bright in here all of the storage is down below your sink 50-50 split stainless steel sink with a pull-down spray nozzle. You also have power back there, so you can place a coffee maker right here, air fryer, blender, uh, pretty much anything that you want. And then you got yourself a window back there, so you can have a nice view while you are cooking. And then just above your sink is a couple cabinets. I like that they switched it up. They have the glass here on these two cabinets, and then they carry out the wood um, on the rest of the cabinet. So they have a little bit of different textures and materials placed in here. Microwave, range hood, three burner stove top with this glass cover. So when you are using these burners, you wanna fold it up like so. And you know, when your burners get nice and hot, you do not wanna have this glass placed on it because it will shatter. So it can be very dangerous. Uh, when you are cooking something splattery, you know, bacon, soups, stir fry, anything really, this prevents it from getting all over your backsplash, having it folded up and kind of makes for easy cleanup. You can still leave it placed down when it's all nice and cool and use it for some additional countertop space if you want. And there is your oven couple drawers, or I guess four of them, are just next to that. All of this countertop space that leads into your entertainment center, so you can use this for food prepping still if you would like. Window back there. And our sale price comes out to be $45,985 for everything. Swivel TV is just up above. And then moving along next to our main entrance, you have your electric fireplace. And this actually kicks off some heat. Uh, so you don't have to use your propane to heat up your camper. You can just use your campsite's electricity. Or you can just have those really pretty lights going. USB port is next to your Bluetooth speaker system. So this is where you can have your DVDs go, uh, turn on the radio, plug in your phones, do all that type of stuff. Next to your kitchen, or I guess across from it, we have some pantry storage space. And that actually goes back pretty far. Stainless steel refrigerator. And then here in your slide out, this is not carpet. It's actually like an outdoor rug material. So this is supposed to have uh, pet hair get swept up pretty easily, which is nice. Next to that for your entertainment center is your theater reclining seats, very comfortable built-in cup holders too. And then behind that is some remote control storage. And then coming into my favorite part of the camper, this is what I have never seen before. Uh, this whole situation right here. It's really awesome. You got the dinette kind of joined in with the really cool loft bunk space for your kids. Uh, so with this dinette, it's kind of like an L-shaped. You can fit a lot of people in here. Great for card games, uh, family dinners, or even just an extra spot to watch TV. This table is removable, so you can take it outside if you want to be able to relax by the fire. And then you have this extra seating right here. This all folds down into a sleeping spot for your kids or extra guests. And then leading up these steps, this is the only carpet besides uh, what's built in on the end tables in the entire camper. So the flooring in general does not have carpet. But leading up these really cool steps, you have your lofted bunk beds for your kids. These are considered double over double, so you can have two kids per bunk, kind of depending on size. Nice safety railing, and they also have a privacy curtain too to sleep in. And then coming up here, they have some closet storage space. Here is your second bunk. And then they also have windows too for some natural light and a spot for a TV. These are rated for 300 pounds, so full-size adults are able to sleep up here too. But there you have it. Any sort of questions or concerns about this Cougar, you guys, feel free to let us know and we'll be happy to help.